Hey team, when it comes to a Christmas feast, there are a few spices, aromas and flavours that you might have come to love. I'm talking like your nutmegs, your cinnamons, and of course, I'm talking having them in things like pies and desserts and all those amazing festive things you have around the table. So today we are doing a healthy cinnamon pecan pie and I'm going to show you how you can put a crust together that is oh so simple and doesn't require any form of kneading at all. So to start with guys, I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, yes, in my apartment kitchen until the studio kitchen is built. You don't actually require a food processor or a high power blender, but they do help. So if you don't, you're just going to get your chop on and mixing on. So into this legend, we're going to put our pecans. So we've got one cup of pecans in here. And as always, my friends, the recipe is down here or on the website where you can say hello, ask for requests, and of course, get a few extra tips along the way. We've also got our dates. Now, typically you would have, you know, some flour, maybe some butter, just to bring it all together. And over here, we've got some gluten-free flour. You can use gluten-free oat flour, rice flour. This is just, uh, you know, a way of keeping it gluten-free for our friends who need it to be. Into that little pinch of salt as well. And just to help bring together our fat we're going to be using is coconut oil. Now, if you're not vegan, you can totally use butter. Grass-fed butter, of course, is my recommendation. Now, this is going to help bind your amazing crust together and hold it. Fat solidifies when it comes to the temperature it loves. So you'll see that when you, you know, look at coconut oil, for example, when it gets really uh, hot, it will melt, but when it's really cold, it'll be super hard. All right, so just gonna blitz this. This may take a few efforts, so always have a spoon handy. So if I take the lid off, what we're looking for is our dates and our pecans to kind of like create a little breadcrumb-like texture. That's the texture after. So where you can bind together, hold itself, but still be quite crumbly. So next, we have to think about what type of tin we're going to be putting our lovely little crust into. Typically, you may have a pie dish, totally, totally awesome as well. I've just got these cake tins. I also have these cute little ones too, and I think they're going to be really adorable, aren't they? Don't you think? Having two little pies, just like that. Whatever you want, guys, just, uh, I, I recommend circles. You can also make bars and put in a square tin. Whatever you have at home is totally usable. So whilst uh, our crumb, our crust is ready and waiting, we've got our pie tins who can be used as well. I'm actually just gonna make our filling. So with our filling, we've got a few different things here. We're gonna add in some more pecans, because it is a pecan pie. I'm just gonna give them a little break up. I also have here a combination of cinnamon and nutmeg. Team, this is your Christmas spice right here. Just even, even nutmeg on its own. Smell it. It is the smell of Christmas. <laughs> that goes in. You're gonna add in a pinch of salt too. Salty sweetness, we love that. We've got some vanilla extracts. This goes a long way, so you don't need to add a lot of it. It's just a little. Ready, watching? Is that quick as? Oh, that's it. Don't go too far. Cool. And then from there, we're also gonna smash some coconut oil because this is gonna this is gonna go bake, right? So when we cook it and then solidify and it's like gonna harden. The, the fat, which is in this case coconut oil, is what's going to help it set. This has got no eggs in it. You can also add eggs to this, this filling, but I'm just showing you a way you can do it out. If you are vegan and want to keep it vegan, then here you go. This is your option. Just going to chuck in. I love, it. I love my coconut oil, obviously. It smells amazing. So I'm just going to give this little mix. Start to get it like sticking together before adding in the main body of our phenomenal filling, the coconut milk. Just like that. So you're gonna have your dates on the bottom, it's gonna be a sweetener of the crust. We've got the coconut milk, which is gonna have that natural sweetness, and then we're gonna add a little touch of maple syrup too. You would generally see a very syrup-like uh, pecan pie, it's kinda like Effectively high fructose corn syrup combined with pecans and you know molasses and things like that. Kind of getting a caramel-like texture, a caramel-like texture, which is kind of cool. You can see the fat coming together with that coconut milk. So now it's time to kind of put our pies together. So let's get our two tins. 
And just using my hands, I'm just gonna add a little bit, just like that. Now you can just get your fingers and just kind of work your way around the outside. Really simple crust. Blitz, press, done. And so from there, I'm just gonna go in and add a mixture. So it's gonna have no edge crust on this. We're just gonna have the phenomenal mixture on top. All right, get a little bake down. Just have a few more pecans on top. Ready for the oven. See you in about 20 minutes. It's been 30 minutes, team. Time to check on our beautiful little pecan pie like numbers. Ooh, this one's still bubbling away. Look at that. A lot of action going on here. So now it's important, we're allowed to cook, time to allow it to set. So leave it out, allow it to solidify, and it's time to carve in. Pecan pie, healthy style, has arrived. Okay, so we allow it to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's now solidified, which is exactly what we're after. So now I'm just gonna, just get a knife around the edge, just to make sure it's gonna break off properly. It definitely helps having a spring form. And are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That looks so good. Yum. You know when you go to a pie shop or even just a you know little cafe and they got the baked goods at the front and you're just like staring through the window going, should I have it? Should I get it? Well at least you know it goes into this one because you made it. Hmm? And just for a little extra effect, so let's just get a little bit of maple syrup drizzling down the side of this one. Wow, my friends, a healthy pecan pie. Well, it's just something you would love to stare at for about two seconds before jumping straight in. So, my friends, if you want this recipe, you can head to my website. There's plenty more healthy goodness there for you too. Or you can scroll down below and you can see all of it here, method, recipe, ingredients, all that kind of stuff. You can leave a comment and give us a thumbs up if you like this recipe. And of course, make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see more healthy goodness every single week. I'm Dan Churchill, my friends, and I'm going to tuck into one wicked pecan pie.